I was not kidding when I said that Mr. Beast drama was going to continue for at least another week. I'm sure at this point, Mr. Beast is already working on a response, whether that's a Google document or a video. This is just my humble opinion. I think it would be much better if he actually made a video addressing everything. And two very interesting things happened. First one being this guy who goes by Chucky debunking some of the stuff in this video. And the second thing that happened here is that a few hours ago, the former Mr. Beast employee that tried to expose him and, you know, threw a lot of crazy allegations against him, he shared that he got a cease and desist. In case you guys don't know, a cease and desist letter is a document that's sent by one party often the business in this example mr beast to warn another party that they believe the other party is committing an unlawful act kind of like telling you to chill the out now this is a long ass post this guy works for mr beast i quickly want to debunk some of the info in this video since the guy who made it was on my team it was my decision to fire him for erratic behavior he worked for the company for less than a month and was not an employee for most of the videos he mentioned to have knowledge on there's so much in his video and i want to specifically address him saying our videos are faked or staged because it's not true and i was on set for many of these videos now something that i found extremely interesting is that towards the end of this tweet he says this dawson dog pack himself said on reddit that he was on shrooms and weed when filming this video which might explain some of the stuff made up here dawson was only an employee from march 25th 2024 and was let go on april 19th so he worked for mr beast for less than a month now the reason why i'm bringing this up is because when he got a season desist he made a silly quirky video about mr beast and all of that but towards the end he says this anyways this was kind of an unstructured rant probably full of spelling mistakes in parentheses he says i wrote this high on meth i don't know if he's joking or not but even if he's joking here but when stuff like this is getting pretty serious and the mr beast team according to you send you a cease and desist they can use this as proof that you don't have credibility because you're on weed or heroin or <laughs> meth for example they can use this along with the other tweet that said yeah you know he admitted to being high on shrooms and weed when making that video they can use that against him in my opinion the whole i'm on drugs guys i'm being crazy up here i'm being unhinged it could a thousand percent backfire if mr beast and his team decide to use this and be like well how can we trust this drug addict how can we trust this junkie but anyways getting back to what chucky said about mr beast and responding to the allegations he says he's responding to multiple claims he says you won't get in the video unless your family or friends with someone that works with mr beast he responds with this is a wild statement that could be easily proven wrong there's probably hundreds or thousands of people who have no affiliation to friends or family of beast employees think of the 456 people in squid game or H is one through a hundred. Jimmy doesn't know more than like a dozen people, LOL. Mr. Beast has made thousands of videos, right? I doubt he knows every single person. Now that's not to discredit all the plans that have appeared on Mr. Beast. And we later find out that, whoa, these people are rich and they don't need money and they're faking, you know, a humble up and coming story. Oh my God. I $200,000 is going to change my life. And there are YouTubers with millions of subscribers and they have a Tesla. But do I think every single contestant in the Mr. Beast video was a plant, was a friend or a family? No, that's just ridiculous. This is kind of a weird thing to bring up. And I quote, the raccoon was a paid actor and quote, I don't even know how to say this, but clearly not an actor, LOL. Like, like this is such an interesting thing to respond to right here. Oh, that raccoon sack man that lasted like one second out of a 55 minute video. Yeah, no, no. Obviously a raccoon cannot be an actor, silly. Island costs more than a dollar. Not true. We did pay $1 for this island. You can Google Mr. Beast purchases Outer Banks Island for $1. Let me check that out. I'm checking out the article. It says Mr. Beast purchases Outer Banks Island for $1. The Greenville resident used $1 to buy a... Okay, so it seems like that happened. That was real. He purchased the island in December of 2023, I'm assuming. It does seem like the island actually did cost a dollar. So Chucky is not lying. Now, something that I wish they addressed here was the whole illegal lottery, the signature drama. And I get it, it could be hard to break down an hour long video and a tweet. It's just not possible. He says the revenge storyline was added in post. He implies that 42 and 58 was scripted and not real. The contestants themselves have talked about this on streams. They did after the video. They legit didn't like each other. He also claimed that 58 was on the far opposite of the side. I'm guessing this is like him trying to debunk and respond to the easy questions out here, to the easiest allegations here. Now, would it help if this guy had receipts and more proof? I think that would really drive the point home. Like, I get it. He's close to Mr. Beast. So of course, he's going to defend him but in stuff like this you need to show receipts you need to show more proof 
He claims our 100 boys versus 100 girls video scripted and the proof is a random text saying it is. That's it. It was not scripted. Jimmy probably had countless people on set for that video and it would have been impossible to hide. That video was not scripted. I was on set for this and there was no bias for who won. He also implies that the video is fake because we have some employees on each team. The employees in the video were there to fill in people who tested positive for COVID last minute. Thea, Jimmy's girlfriend, mentioned this on the podcast over a year ago. If it wasn't for COVID, they would have not been in it. They had the same money on the line as everyone else. Some random text zone thinking it was rigged doesn't mean it was rigged. I'm a little iffy about this. It's because there was quite a few people that left, right? They got out and Jimmy's like, oh, people had to leave for work. Like, yeah, I get it. COVID was a horrible time. Some people tested positive, so you need to fill people in. I get that. But why not address that in that video? Be like, yo, so we had someone else, but they couldn't make it because they, they got sick. So in their place, it's going to be this person. This person works for Mr. Beast, yada, yada, yada. The transparency is what people just want. Don't pretend this person who's your editor is a random guest. You know what I mean? And I think if they were honest with us, or at least they showed it in that video, a lot of people wouldn't be that harsh. And they would be like, yeah, that makes sense. That's okay. I think it comes down to transparency. I think if they would have said that, I don't think this would have ever been a point. Fake signatures, fake lotteries, rake competitions, employee who keeps winning, promoting gambling to kids, changing ingredients and feasibles to make them very unhealthy and rigging the whole, you know, just pretty much everything that Chucky missed out. Which, don't get me wrong, these are very important points that should have been brought up. And it definitely does seem like Chucky just went after the easiest to debunk. This person responded, he says, and I quote, you won't get in the video unless your family or friends with someone that works for Mr. Beast. I'm a random dude that lives across the country and click subscribe at the right time. You absolutely can get in the Mr. Beast video as a stranger. And most of the contestants are. So he shows his tweet and he says, hey, you are my 5 million subscriber you might have you know trying to get something done with the guy now on my last video i talked about my experiences winning a super small mr beast challenge way before you know he was massive and i won like an amazon gift card i did not know mr beast i still don't know him and i had no family or any ties to mr beast so that's one of the main reasons why i was pretty hesitant because these random claims that every single person that participates in the mr beast video knows him personally or someone that works there could bring their family i'm sure that happens the guy shows proof that youtuber Don pack refers to that but there's been a lot of normal ass people like myself who've won giveaways and mr beast doesn't know who the fuck i am <laughs> i'm just a random person and i've won it doesn't address the blatantly obvious legal lotteries being run by mr beast yada 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 so yeah i you know once again i don't think you could respond to an hour-long video with you know a tweet i think it should have been at least multiple tweets and with good receipts just enough proof to well prove people wrong and going back to what i said earlier the whole time this guy's talking about you know being on shrooms and meth and weed and it's hurting him whether they're jokes or not this is not the time to be joking around and being like yo guys i just you know i did some meth with jesse pinkman and walter white and you know it's getting lit up in here and i was so high out of my mind in a multiple shrooms making that video exposing mr beast this is how you get people to discredit you easily and uh, here we have the actual cease and desist that was sent to dog pack it says dear mr dog pack represents your former employer mr beast youtube channel I am writing to you in regard to your recent troubling conduct following your involuntary termination from employment with the company on April 19, 2024. Specifically, it has recently come to the company's attention that you have been, among other things, disclosing sensitive, confidential, and information regarding the company's business operations and content creation in breach of your contractual and legal obligations to the company, including the contractual post-employment obligation set forth in the, you know, and the NDA agreement executed by you in connection with your employment. You know, just essentially telling him, yo, yeah, we're watching. I'm assuming here, Mr. Beast is very confident he could debunk everything. And that's what he's starting the process of just, yo, chill out. We caught you lying. This is all cap. And here's why. And here's what's going to happen. I have a feeling that's the reason why. But only time will tell. What do I think about this? I'm just lucky that I get to observe this and talk about it and uh, see where it goes. I'm glad I'm not involved directly because this sounds like a fucking nightmare to be a part of. But with that said, what do you guys think of the situation? Please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like, share. And uh, yeah, with that said, I'll see you next time. All right, peace out. Oscar, Oscar. What? What's going on? You have to talk about the new Mr. B situation. Mr. I, I, I made like five videos about him. I'm so sick and tired of talking about Mr. B's Chris Tyson. Why are you in my room with the flashlight on? I'm like naked under this helmet, but anyways. But you have to buy your new mansion in LA.
I mean, it does bring in the bucks. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just. I hate this. I hate my job. I want to kill myself.